What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, out of the basement's action figure talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, we're checking in. It's currently June, June something. 22nd? June 22nd. Maybe. And we figured it's time to do our top five Black Series figures of 2021 Yeah. so far. We did this last year. We like to do it about halfway through the year. We're a little more than halfway. Yep. But... There was some things that we got l way late in early 2020, so like the new new stuff didn't really come until like, like what was it, April? Yeah. Like March, yeah. April, so. But this year, we started out with new stuff right out of the gate. Our The very first figure both of us picked up this year was on January 1st, and it was the Deluxe Charge R Binks. Yeah. So there's been Great a figure. ton of fantastic figures. Uh, we're only doing a top five for this particular video just because there's obviously not too, too many figures out at the moment. Obviously, later in the year, we'll do a full top yeah, ten. Not really counting archive right. or repacks. Yeah, this is kind of just like a new New figures. 2021 figures. But of course, for the official list, we'll include everything like we normally do. We're not going to do any honorable mentions. We're just going to jump into it. So if you enjoy our content and these types of videos and you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button. So Justin, you want to start us out with our number five pick, which all five of these are absolute bangers. Yeah, we, were, we knew our top four like right away. Right. But we were struggling with our fifth position here we're struggling between crosshair jar jar binks yep yeah but we chose asajj ventress from the clone wars great figure absolutely. i absolutely the sculpt the the realistic interpretation of the character into the black series the soft goods really really good soft goods oh yeah i love the material that they're made yeah. out of it's like it's very shiny. It's nice and mm -hmm. looks high quality. It doesn't look cheap like some soft goods right. can. I feel like she'd be higher on the list if she didn't have the horizontal joints. If yeah. she had <laughs> the vertical joints, like every dual wielding blaster or lightsaber character mm -hmm. should have those vertical hinges for the wrist articulation, she probably would have been a little bit higher. True. But it's just, I feel like this is just a celebration of the Clone Wars. We're finally getting tons of Clone Wars characters. Yeah. And because when we were debating about, really it was between like Ventress or Crosshair. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it came down to it, I was like, Ventress is a more important character. Yeah. Obviously Crosshair, you know, we still have time to develop that character. But Ventress, you know, we've had seven seasons of Clone Wars. She was in the original Tartakovsky series. Oh, yeah. So True. it was like, it was time to get a Ventress figure. Yeah. And they butterfly have, joints. Right. Too. Butterfly joints. Great paint app details. Like you said, the realistic interpretation looks absolutely fantastic. And it just is so satisfying to have her. And then right next to her, you got Count. Yep. And then you got Maul. And some and, droids. Yep. Some separatist droids. And it's like, it's so good. We're finally, you know, getting some more villains here because right. the Black Series is pretty hero focused yeah i mean at least i guess i should say villains with lightsabers yeah <laughs> true ventress comes in at number five and now moving on to number four i'm sure some people are gonna say that this is a this is too low but mm. we are talking about bo katan of course this is her mandalorian look obviously that's the only figure in the six inch line that exists of her at the moment yeah but man did Hasbro really nail it? The photoreal head specifically. I know there's some minor complaints about the hair color and the belt color, mm -hmm. but the photoreal head, the likeness to yeah. Katie Sackoff is yeah. one of the best heads in the line. Yeah, it's one of the best photoreal applications to any of their Black Series figures. Uh, Bo-Katan, it's a great fantastic figure butterfly joints you got dual pistols could have used a little more paint on those pistols could have used a wash on the holster and belt configuration but it's still such a satisfying figure of course it's another mando it's a night owl mando the leader of the night owls can't wait to get casca yep <laughs> cannot her, wait to get casca and her helmet has such great details on yeah it, it they really went all out on Bo, which is great. I think they absolutely needed to go mm. all out. And it's 
Also awesome because getting Bo, that now, of course, as we've already seen with Casca, means that we've got a female Mandalorian body. Mm -hmm. So we could start cranking out those other fan favorite characters. Right. I mean, I guess we had Sabine in the past, but True. Sabine was real tiny because yeah. she's obviously... She's very lean. She's like a teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> Bo-Katan, I mean, House Kree's... Mm -hmm. Should we get a... I really would be down for, like, a Clone Wars Bo-Katan as well. Like, a season... Even season 7 or... I, I'm not sure how much the design differs between the earlier seasons of Clone Wars, but I still think we should get a Clone Wars Bo-Katan. I, I think it's different enough. And there is a pretty good Black Series concept of how that could look. If you don't follow that Instagram page, Black <laughs> Series Concept. The page where you're scrolling through Instagram <laughs> and you have a heart attack yeah. every day. You're like, whoa, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter in the Black <laughs> Series. And then you're like, oh yeah, it's just Star Wars Concepts. And then coming in in number three, you knew we were going to get into those pesky Target exclusive <laughs> Clone Wars figures. The most botched release of all of Black Series our pick for number three is Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Kenobi. I have wanted this figure for such a long time. I think Obi-Wan is my favorite Jedi. I specifically love Clone Wars Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. He's like dashing yet sassy. Right. He, he, I don't know what it is about him in the Clone Wars. And he gets, I mean, of course in the movies he's got great character development as yeah. well, but he's so fleshed out in the Clone yeah. Wars. Especially, you know, when you when you get into, like, the whole love interest stuff with Satine. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, man. Like, Obi-Wan is so much more dimensional. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, of course, he has the vertical hinge on the hand. But <laughs> that is only because it's a clone trooper, clone trooper arms. Right. But still. But still, the fact that he has that vertical hinge, it gives him a vast, you know, upper edge over the Anakin. Oh, yeah. Because the Anakin also have also has both horizontal hinges so you just when you have that vertical hinge you can just get such better gunslinging and lightsaber poses he looks great next to commander cody and of course we have that new walgreens exclusive 212th trooper coming as well so it's just everything's gonna look very nice together you could have him fighting ventress mm -hmm. so it's like we have a lot of characters on this list that were just such a long time coming. So it's it's almost more so that it's just the character is finally here. Right. And with Obi-Wan, it's of course an interpretation we've wanted yeah. for years, especially when, even though I really liked it, even though it's mildly inaccurate, but you know, we got teased with the Tartakovsky yeah. clone commander Obi figure years yeah. ago. And then now to finally get it, it's awesome. And and then, of course, this is really no surprise, but number two is, of course, Arc Trooper Echo. <laughs> there could be an argument made to have this figure as number one. There could be. But, of course, I mean, Echo is a 100% banger. Uh, head to toe, Pretty much a brand new figure. Lots of new sculpt work on him. Mm -hmm. uh, the photoreal head is fantastic. True. The helmet is pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, it comes with all three variations of the clone weaponry. So you get the short DC-15, the longer DC-15A. Mm -hmm. I think it's DC-15S is the shorter one. DC-15A. And the blaster pistol... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the blaster pistol. Yeah. Trying to get better at remembering I, blaster I names. But I mean just the fact that we got the first Arc Trooper yes. in the Black series. If this would have been fives, I probably would have put it as number one. I I I think they obviously should have started with fives, but I'm equally as satisfied with an Echo. But they better damn well do fives yeah. and Jesse and Kicks. Like like we always point out, I mean, the notch in the armor mm. to switch the ammo pouch from different sides, I think that obviously confirms Fives at the mm. very least, because Fives does have his ammo pouch on the alternate side mm -hmm. from Echo. Right. 
you know, they wouldn't have done that for no reason. They wouldn't have put the notch to switch the ammo pouch if right. they didn't have intentions. And of course, like I said, you know, there is tons of new sculpt work on Echo. So we also know Hasbro is not just going to do a one and done. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I've always been a fan of just like the clone trippers with like the extra stuff. Mm -hmm. The ammo strip pouches and just the pauldrons and my... Yep. This is one of my original figures from my childhood, and it's it's an episode the three, comma. three and three quarter inch arc trooper. Yeah, I just always call this Fordo, even though it's Phase Two, not Phase One. But I totally agree with you. Ever since I was a little kid, seeing these clone troopers with the visor, like the especially pauldron, like the in comma. Revenge of the Sith, when yes. it's like Attack of the Clones had pretty basic, like just paint scheme right most of them were white some of them had the different commanders but or the different ranks but once we got into revenge of the sith you you could tell like they're seasoned they've been in the war and they've started to do like just these insane configurations like yeah. especially like the scene with ayla sakura like all of those clones have like the double pauldrons you got bly with the bino attachments and yeah, I mean, even, like, in with the Utapau scenes, with, uh, like, the airborne trooper that has, like... Man, we need that figure. Yeah. We need that airborne trooper. You go through episode three and just pause it periodically. You're just like, <laughs> need that, I need that, I need that. I mean, that trooper, true. That trooper. But, Justin, what is our number one pick? I'm sure it's pretty obvious at this point what <laughs> it is. It is the definitive look of Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi... This figure was $29.99, and it comes with <gasps> so much. Brand new figure, top to toe. Flame effects. New booster effects. Booster effects. New uh, weapons. It's a re-sculpted yeah. weapon for him. Also includes a, a piece that... You know, it removes, yeah, so you can broken, and it has the paint detail on it. Yep, so you can like recreate that scene. You mm. get the, I mean, the the grappling hook is kind of not good because it's a little too short. But they threw it in there, right? But they, they threw, threw it, it in there. there. Um, it, the jet pack is removable, even though it's a little too yellow. Yeah, on so the yellow paint. there's some minor gripes, there's and of course you gotta heat the helmet up and blah, yeah, blah, blah, you do. But... If I show off that picture in the review, it's actually a CGI render because Hasbro did not want to show that off after they realized. <laughs> they were... Oh, sure. John, John Hasbro was looking through the shipments of, of Boba <laughs> Fett's, and he goes, "You telling me every helmet's like this?" Stick with the CGI render. Don't show them the real thing. <laughs> so, so <laughs> luckily it was an easy fix. Yeah, it was an incredibly easy fix. If you still don't know, just heat up the helmet with a hair dryer or even some warm water and then apply some pressure to the middle of the helmet. It'll go back to its shape and it'll stay that way. It's a very easy fix, but I do think <laughs> it's sort of terrible that w no one even knew what the figure looked like until it shipped. Yep. And then everyone found out, oh, this is why they only showed us yeah. the CG render. <laughs> but it, it's still a fantastic it's, figure. Butterfly joints on Boba Fett. You can finally get him into like some shooting poses. Tons of great posing to be had mm -hmm. with that Boba Fett. And Put the flame effect on the wrist and have it look like he's shooting out his flamethrower. And I'll say it. The red gauntlets are better than the Empire Strikes Back green gauntlets. Team red gauntlets. Yeah. I think it just breaks up the costume more. All that green on the Empire version, it mm -hmm. just kind of, it, it loses a little something, okay. in my opinion. Okay. And the red gauntlets makes it, there's some contrast yeah. to be had there. I, I do think this is just the definitive, like if you could only have one Boba Fett in your collection, I think it would, it should be this one. Yeah, and yeah, you know, you could use a little more weathering and stuff like that, but I still do think that for the most part, obviously you look at it, you go, oh, that's Boba Fett, and if you're, you know, into Star Wars, you go, oh, that's Return of the Jedi, Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's just a masterpiece figure. And again, only for twenty nine ninety nine. Now, I know, I only, like, yeah, that's the deluxe price, but then, again, we have Captain Rex, twenty nine ninety nine at Walmart for a poncho. Yep. It's a $10 poncho. 
So that was our top five list of our favorite figures of the year so far. Of course, we'd love to know what your favorite Black Series figures of the year are as well down in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed this episode of Figured Out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars here on the channel. Of course, join us every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time right here on the channel where we do some nice laid back live streaming stuff. We usually have like a guest on. We yeah. just talk toys and talk whatever and it's a lot of fun. And of course, if you are interested in joining our ever-growing community over on Discord, there is a link for that in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.